Hello friends, and welcome to Let's Play King of Mazes. I'm your host, Magic Man Mo, and I would like to thank King of Mazes for sponsoring this series. Before we jump in, I want to read the, uh, the sort of description. I'm, I'm reading it off of Steam right now. I want to read the description of King of Mazes. King of Mazes is an adult comedic harem RPG. Go on a quest like none other and save the kingdom of its unique and strange problems by thinking out of the box and using your problem-solving skills. Okay, a comedic, uh, uh, what, what, what was, adult comedic harem RPG. I'm in. Let's do this. I'm going to get my mouse off the screen and use the, 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 the keyboard and hit the old new game and get into this one. Um, if you are interested in getting this game for yourself, I should say this before I get too far. If you're interested in getting this game for yourself, there is information in the description down below, as well as a link to uh, the developer's new game that they're working on, King of Phoenix, if you are interested in checking that one out. It's more like a dating simulator. Anyway, back to King of Mazes. I wanted to say that. I nearly forgot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Conversation. Hello. Is this me? Is this my character? Should I just use my voice for my character? If that old washerwoman's directions were correct, that village should just be past these woods. Good thing, too. I'm super hungry and thirsty. I'll eat a whole roast chicken the second I get there. This is me. He's got the red hair. I got the red hair. He likes chicken. I like blue eyes. Blue. We're the same. You just need a hat. I mean, he's got his weird, like, helmet thing. You just need a hat, buddy. And, and, and this, you could be me. Well, we're going to go left instead of up, we're gonna, uh, because left is always right. It's always right. You can't go wrong going left. Never. It doesn't happen. Is there a sh Oh, there is a shift for sprint. I can sprint! Uh, any hidden objects? Should I be, like, wandering around hitting, what, space, perhaps, to, like, search for hidden objects in the woods? Is is there anything over here? No? No? I don't know if it's space or enter. I, for I always forget how these types of games work. I see a bunch of crates up there and boxes. Those might be holding some valuable goods. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go up that first time. It was a dead end. It's a maze of forests. And we, and we, as you might recall, are the king of maze. <laughs> the king of mazes. I, you know, oh, do I want to check those boxes? Do they hold hidden goods? Ooh, tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of perfectly straight cut rectangular scrolls, all containing shiny mirror-like saucers with holes in the middle, in the middle. Okay, there's writing, kiss your heart, Billy Bega. Oh no, the same poor moor has been frozen and trapped on each one left here. What did this moor do to get such a curse? Perhaps he kissed too many hearts? I don't know if I understand. I think that might be a reference to something. I don't think I, I don't think I know. I don't think I know the reference. Ah, that's okay. That's okay. But who, why would they? Why, why would those be out in the forest? Who dumped them there? Where did they come from? Where are they going? Will they ever get there? The questions I ask on this grand adventure through a forest, through a maze of forests. Oh my gosh, this is this is a legit straight up maze. I am <laughs> This is a legit straight up maze. And this is my quest to become king of it. <laughs> that, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I haven't somehow turned around, have I? No, I think I'm going yes, I'm going in the proper direction that I believe I must go. Ah, that's a dead end. Ah, almost. So close. We're almost there. <laughs> I, again, I don't know if there's hidden things in the trees that I should be looking for. I don't know. That would be pretty funny if there was just like one hidden thing and it was like combat of some some super powerful beast that would like one shot you and you'd be like, oh, well then. Oh, there's a flower. Can I do anything with the Can I pick the flower? Can I pick yonder flower? No, I cannot pick yonder flower. And we're in the village. I want to eat a whole roasted chicken. Someone bring to me the roasted chicken. You there. You, sir. Has you got a roasted chicken for me? Uh, hello, adventurer. Greetings, old man. You don't need to remind me that I'm old. That's, that's rude. Okay, then. <laughs> My apologies. Greetings, man that isn't that old. Uh, My name is Sir Edward Cumsalot of the Crimson Knights of Bonnerton. Uh, yes, I know of the Crimson Knights of Bonnerton. It's Bonnerton. Duke of Weaseltown. Weaseltown. A chivalric brotherhood known for the long and hard swords. Yes, our swords are very long and very hard. So what brings you to this lonely town? Well, I have been traveling through the thick and dense Conio Woods for the past two days. 
It has been a tiresome and difficult journey due to the amount of growth and thicket in the forest. I am awfully tired and was hoping to buy some food, drink, some ale, and get a good night's rest at the local inn. I kind of stumbled on the word brink there. I am afraid that none of those things can be made available for you. I am terribly sorry, boy. Why ever not? As you can see, boy, this village has no people left. Old man, but your people... <laughs> I mean, man that is not that old. Did everyone leave? What happened? You see, three days ago, a young witch appeared at the village and decided to have a drink at the local tavern. Upon laying her eyes on the carpenter's assistant, she was love-struck and immediately began making romantic advances. A young witch, you say? How, how would you say she was? Was she... Was she a pretty young witch? <laughs> Available? Single, perhaps? I'd say she was about 22. Okay, then. That's well within my range. Please continue, Grandpa. I'm not your grandpa. Okay, then. Please continue, old man that isn't related to me. I mean, man that is not that old, and neither is my grandpa. <laughs> so, this young 22-year-old witch proceeded to marry the carpenter's assistant some ale and began flirting with him. Alas, the carpenter's assistant would not share his wood with her. Was the witch foul-smelling and ugly? <laughs> Quite the contrary! She was quite a pretty young thing and smelt like roses and daffodils. I'm trying to remember what was the, uh, the Witcher 3. What was it? Like, ah, uh, like, like, I don't remember what the smell was, but Geralt was wandering around to every inn and tavern, like, do you remember seeing a lady? She smelled like this! Lilac and gooseberries. I have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. People, people pr probably didn't notice. Anyway, I don't remember what the smell was. And then why did she reject her advances? What was wrong with the carpenter's assistant? Was he foul-smelling and ugly? Well, there have been rumors for a time now that the carpenter's assistant enjoyed sanding wood long before he took up his trade. I understand. Please, continue. So, the witch, infuriated with the rejection, cast a spell on everyone in this village, and with a blink of an eye, all the young people vanished. Leaving you alone in this village, right? Or are you the witch in disguise, old grandpa man? Well, no. There was another old lady in the village that didn't vanish. That's how I know the spell only affected the young. Ah, okay. So where is this old woman? She was horrified with the idea of being alone in this village with me, so she <laughs> left. Why, old man? Are you foul-smelling and ugly? She doesn't like the how I smell. Deodorant, old man. Deodorant. I can see why. Wreck you, your little Astrid. Take it easy, Gramps. I want to help you. Really? I want some food, ale, and a place to sleep, and since you won't let me break into any of these buildings, it looks like I need to save the villagers. Do you have any idea where this witch lives? She has a small house deep inside Conia Woods. I've been trekking through Conia Woods for the past two days, as it so happens. As a matter of fact, there are no houses in there, just trees, rocks, and scary an- Well, scary- uh, Scary animals? I mean, I didn't see any animals just a moment ago. You've come from the east. Her house is due north of the village. Okay, thanks, Gramps. I'll see you later, I guess. Remember, boy, witches are very dangerous. The best way to kill a witch is to sneak from behind and then lop off their heads in one fell swoop. The heck is wrong with you, old man? I'm not some crazed murderer. I'm gonna go talk to the witch. I'm gonna go woo the witch. I'm gonna serenade her and convince her to uh, become my traveling maze companion. A king of the mazes needs a queen of the mazes, after all. I'm going to go to her house, knock on her do door, talk to her, and try to convince her to let the villagers go, like a civilized chivalrous man. Rule number six in the Crimson Knight's Handbook. If it all, if, if it all, if at all possible, use words rather than violence to pacify a situation. Yeah, I always knew you Crimson Knights were nothing but a bunch of pansies. Anyway, it's your funeral, so do as you wish, boy. I do hope you're able to bring back the villagers. You can count on me, Gramps. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go north and look for the witch and knock on her door. Were you about to throw your dirty money in? This is a drinking well. Well, I was not going to throw any of my hard-earned money in the well. I was hoping maybe I could get a bite to drink. Uh, did I just light the fire? Is that a secret? Are there going to be other fires for me to light? And if I light all 73 of them, then, uh... <laughs> I don't know, something magical happens? 
I, I just made up the number seven. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is there anything in these boxes? Are there more discs? Why are you still trying to enter these poor villagers' homes? Go save them instead of stealing from them. I'm glad to see that this old man is just doing his due diligence to make sure everything stays exactly as it is. All right, all right. I'll stop trying to get into that. What if he like will let me into one house and and, and like steal things? Yeah. No, what if he's not looking? <laughs> what, what 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 if? Not that I would. Just just what if? Hypothetically. If I broke in through a window, all right, I don't see anything else to do in this town if I can't go in the buildings. Good luck, boy. I don't expect you'll return from this journey. Oh, well, thank you for the vote of confidence, old man. I don't think you're going to make it. I'm the king of mazes. Of course I'm going to make it. Oh, my God. This is actually going to be a giant maze. I, I went left because left is always right. Don't fail me now. Left. No, you can't fail me, left. How dare you? You betrayed me. You, uh... <laughs> well, 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 I'm, I'm trying to think of a song. Is it struck through the heart? And you're to blame. You gave love a bad name. Oh my god. There's a chest in the middle of the forest. Can I keep going up here? No, that's the dead end. There's a chest in the middle of the forest. I want that chest. I want... I want to look inside you. <laughs> chest? I want to know... What is inside? Is it gold? Is it a box of lavender and myrrh? For my for my foul smelling old man companion back in town? Uh, lavender and myrrh both being objects that you can use to make perfumes out of. I think if I'm wrong about that, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> lavender for sure, right? Lavender for sure. You make perfume out of lavender, right? I'm pretty sure I've seen lavender scented candles. God, I'm a I, I am not knowledgeable on this subject. Alright. We are just kind of like whatever I can do, I'm just trying to get into the middle. Into the center of the maze, of yonder maze. I could probably be doing a better job of sort of memorizing like what's a did I just go in a full friggin' circle? I think I might have. Did I go in a full circle? I could be doing a better job of trying to memorize how to get into this. Have I been here before? My god, the madness! The madness is settling in! Okay, I need to get down one. And it goes down here. And this is a dead end though, right? Because this goes, does this go down? But it doesn't go all the way down to the, uh, it doesn't go all the way down to the, to the chesticle! Chesticle, let me get to you! I want to feel the cold gold coins in my hands that I know you have within. There it is. Oyster extract was found. Well, that is not what I wanted to lay my hands on. I don't want to touch an oyster. Even I need my vitamins. Are oyster extract good for vitamins? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't take oyster extract. I don't take vitamins either. I get all my nutrients from the sun and breathing. I'm photosynth <laughs> photosynthetic. Um, all right, so we made it to the middle. So now I, I think we have to work our way back out. You know, typical maze stash, uh, stashing? Typical maze fashion, right? We gotta get out. How, where are... Uh, oh no. Oh no, it's begun. The madness. Okay, I guess I have to go back out this way. And somehow... Because I think I need to get to the top. You know, mazes are significantly easier when you're not in them. And you can actually see, like, from a bird's eye. See, that's what I need to get to. I need to get to yonder pathway up there. Uh, we, it, mazes are easier, though, when you can actually see from a bird's eye view what direction you're heading in. See, I don't want to go this way, though, right? Do I? Because this is how I got here, right? Isn't this where I came from? I thought this was the path I need to go to, but actually... Is it, though? Because this is the path that goes in the giant friggin' circle, right? Wait, what if I went down? Here's a question. <laughs> what if I went down? What if I did not do the, the to the right? Yes? Oh, there it is. It's, we're so close. Yes, here it is. I found it. I found you, pathway, yonder path. I'm the king of mazes! <laughs> let, let it be known throughout the land. That I, Magic Man Mo, am king of the mazes and finder 
of oyster extract containing chesticles. <laughs> There's another chesticle in the middle of this this maze, and I want it. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing if I go all the way up, it's gonna be a massive dead end. So I'm gonna go in inward a little bit. I'm gonna go inward and seek myself, find myself, find my inner peace, find my inner <laughs> oyster extract, with nothing but the visions of a 22-year-old young witch who I am going to woo and convince to release the villagers. What was the name of that village we went to? I'm about 98% sure that our character named the village in the first forest we were in, named it, told us what it was, and I am 100% sure I do not remember what it was called. The village! <laughs> Got for me. Kama Sutra was found! Kama Sutra, isn't that the... the the sex position book it's like indian or something this will come in handy for my alone time in my town visits something like that something like that can i actually look at my inventory is it escape uh item item no i have got no item weapon no weapon armor no key items oyster extract helps with muscle tone and vigor kamasutra great educational book with nice pictures that is one way to put it you're not, you're not wrong. Look, you're not wrong. I would not say that you're wrong or incorrect or mistaken or uh, inaccurate. I'm trying to think of just other synonyms for the word wrong. Ugh. But I feel like even though you're not wrong, it is not the most accurate depiction of what the Kama Sutra is. Alright, uh, is this... Well, I was about to say, is this the path that I need to go on? But it's a maze, so... That's kind of the point. You gotta keep going until you figure it out. Oh, 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 I wanna go this way. I wanna go this way! No, that's a dead end! No! I can't believe... So, I know the game was called King of Mazes. So I shouldn't, shouldn't be surprised about the amount of ma I'm going backwards, aren't I? I shouldn't be surprised by the number- yeah, I'm going backwards. I should- well, I didn't go all the way up here. I don't actually know where this goes. This could be- no, it's a dead- I knew it was! I knew it was a dead end! What was I saying? Oh yeah, I shouldn't be surprised that there are mazes. Right? And I'm- I, I'm not really- but for some reason, although I'm not surprised, I wasn't expecting actual literal mazes. And, and, and I think that's because, perhaps, you know, in modern gaming, we don't have enough mazes. Mazes are made to be simple, short, easy puzzles. Like, um, I don't know, like friggin' uh, uh, <laughs> like burial tombs in Skyrim or something. Like, it, you get, you get turned around for two seconds, but it's not, it's not complicated. You'll be fine. No real mazes. These, these are... These are real mazes that I could be doing a much better job of getting. You know, there's a maze tip. There's a maze trick that people use to get in and out of mazes, right? Well, <laughs> no one really tries to get in a, in a maze, but to get out of a maze, you pick a wall, either your, your left side or your right side, and you just follow that, no matter how far it goes, all the way to the end. And you'll always get to the end, so long as the exit isn't the, the middle of the maze because there are certain ways you can uh, make mazes where if you follow the left or right wall you'll never get to the middle but if your exit is on the far side you can always get there it can always be done oh we made it through the maze yay so we're in like another village of some kind this might be the witch's hut actually 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 i, I pronounce actually like there's an sh actually Actually, this is probably the witch's hut. I am going to stop this episode right here, however. So next episode, if this is the witch's hut, I will be meeting the witch. If you enjoyed that video, please do all the things. But whatever you guys do, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, wash your hands.